Brian Woods has been in jail since he was 13 years old. That was two years ago. When he's locked in his cell, he likes to spend time corresponding with his girlfriend, Amy. They've something in common. Brian and Amy were both charged with attempted murder. Because of that charge, the Florida state prosecutor decided Brian and Amy must stand trial as adults. Brian only catches glimpses of Amy when he goes off to trial, but he constantly writes to her. We just talk about what happens in the jail, what happens on the outs, what's going on with her and her case and her family, and I talk about the same things, talk about what she used to do when she was out, what she's going to do when she gets out, how she's going to better her life. I tell her how I'm going to better my life, and she, we just talk about different scriptures in the Bible. Brian, Amy, and other juveniles are in Brevard County Jail in Florida, waiting for their trial and sentencing. Minors are not held in adult prisons for suspected crimes in any other Western country. But in the United States, in 42 states, including Florida, juveniles charged with major crimes can be tried and imprisoned as adults. I just lay in bed. Sometimes I think of a home, what I can be doing on Christmas, my birthday, and things, be spending time with my family, going out to the beach, staying at home, watching movies spending time with my nieces and nephews. It's just, I wish I was there. Cheryl Woods, Brian's mother, is off to see their lawyer. Cheryl's friend Deborah helps out by driving 100 kilometers each way to ease Cheryl's burden. Cheryl has spent her last cent on legal help. So far, it has paid off. Richard Manzo has just succeeded in getting Brian acquitted of attempted murder. But the boy was convicted of a lesser charge of armed trespassing and is awaiting sentencing. Brian and his friend Amy, armed with a gun, broke into a house. Shots were fired, but no one was hurt. Since he's been tried as an adult, Brian could face years in prison instead of time in a juvenile reform facility. Manzo says Brian has become very hard in prison. The lawyer says it's tough having a client who's a child who can't comprehend the implications of what might happen. The fact that you realize that maybe even more than he does, that he's looking at the rest of his life in, in a prison with the, this kind of uh, charge and potential sentence, it's difficult dealing with an with individual that perhaps can't express things the way that adults could, trying to discuss adult issues, particularly trial issues and things of that sort. So it makes it very difficult, and the parents have to play a big part in decision-making where otherwise you normally get that from your client. Uh, th those are problems you deal with. Brian says he won't survive in an adult's prison. In this county jail, the adults and children are kept in separate quarters. Knowing that I can go there and get killed for something stupid instead of going to a juvenile facility, just get into a fight. The adults in there are facing life. A lot older, a lot smaller, and a lot bigger. And by the first thing that they should take of me, it will, it'll be a fight right there. Because that if I keep letting them take it, they're gonna keep taking things, and it's gonna end up into a fight anyways. Knowing that I'm gonna go up against somebody that's bigger than me. And knowing that there's gonna be a lot of them, yeah, I'm scared. And that's what makes kids want to go out and get in gangs. And whenever they get locked up, they join a gang, and that's what gets them killed in prison. Juveniles in this county jail get some education, but they say the teachers only make an effort for the occasional visitor. Okay, now click on the screen. In 1998, over 6,000 juveniles were in adult jails in Florida. Local lawmakers felt a need to get tough with juvenile offenders after a rash of killings and carjackings carried out by minors. There was pressure from the public to fight crime, and laws were changed. They say the deterrent effect has worked. State prosecutors claim juvenile crime is down and that the number of youths tried as adults has dropped by 61% in recent years. Many American states consider Florida's tough juvenile policy as excessive. At Northwestern University in Chicago, professors run a juvenile defense program 
advocating that youth be tried as youths. Stephen Drizin defends many of these teenagers. Compared to other Western countries, he says America is barbaric with juvenile offenders. I think it's a disastrous social policy. I think that um, on many levels it's a disastrous policy because many of these children are not fully formed adults. They don't fully understand the nature and consequences of their actions and they can be rehabilitated if we decide to put the proper resources and interventions in place. Uh, we shouldn't be simply throwing away the key on these children's lives. There's little sympathy for that stand in Florida's juvenile courts. Prosecutors point out cases like Nathaniel Brazil, aged 13, who shot and killed his teacher and is now serving a 28-year prison sentence. In Florida, prosecuting attorneys, not judges, determine if a youth should be charged as an adult. In many other states, that call is left to a judge. Susan Kajana is a prosecuting attorney, and she objects to Drizzen's lenient approach. I don't agree with that. Uh, having seen some of the crimes committed by 13 and 14 year olds, I don't believe that uh, it, it is brutal in circumstances where they've committed those offenses. If you um, see some of the atrocities that these children could commit, it's, they need to be treated as adults. When a 13 or 14 year old commits a heinous crime, we also have uh, a victim, and whether that child was uh, raised by good parents or not, the victim is still the same, either dead or seriously injured. And they, that child has to uh, get the consequences of his actions. You know, people have to take responsibility for their own actions. And a lot of kids are raised in bad situations and don't commit crimes. Brian often eats alone and is kept in his cell as a punishment. He gets into trouble. Brian says it's because he's in prison. Awaiting sentencing, Brian allegedly attacked a prison guard. Even if he gets off the armed trespassing charge, he faces yet another trial for battery, assaulting a prison officer. Brian says if he was given a second chance, he wouldn't be in this mess. Second chance is I, I did a wrong thing when I was younger, but now I'm older and I'm smarter. I know right from wrong what to do. And I ain't here being around people, seeing what it's like from different point of views. And now I know what to do and how to get my life straight. I was all about my friends trying to impress them. And now I'm doing it for myself. Brian Woods hasn't had a hug or a kiss from his mother in over a year. He's allowed to speak to her only through a glass wall using a video phone. When Cheryl talks to him, she can only see the top half of her son's head. Brian is just too small for the camera, which is set at adult height. I just feel very sad. It hurts. I, you know, he's my youngest child, and I'm pretty close to him. It just, there's really no words to describe it. And I wanted to cry, but I didn't. It's very devastating when I have to leave knowing that I have to leave him here, uh -huh. not knowing what's going to happen to him next. I've gotten yeah. several phone calls where he's been hurt. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's just very hard. It's just, I'd rather be at home with my family doing things I'm it's supposed to do at the young age that I am. Just think about home sometimes. But most of the time I try to keep my mind off it. Because just the more you think about home, more makes you angry that you can't be there, my family and stuff. While Brian waits to find out his fate, the debate continues in America. Some believe the streets are safer with juveniles like Brian Woods in adult jails. Others contend the brutality shown to these teenagers will just rebound on society when and if young offenders like Brian Woods are freed. 